Looking at the numbers today, uh, we just mentioned uh, the positive side of the story, which of course is from PIMCO, attracting 22 billion euros from clients in the third quarter, more than offsetting the 4 billion euros uh, in outflows at Allianz Global Investors. Uh, but what I do want to ask you about, first of all, is the 10% slump at the property and casualty business. Can you explain what was behind that? So uh, good morning and yes, as you said, we had very good results for the quarter and also when you look at the nine months, our results are really uh, extremely good considering we have an operating profit of uh, 9 billion and also an IT income of over uh, 6 billion. So fundamentally the business is doing uh, very, very good. When we look at the PNC business in the fourth quarter, you can see that uh, the combined rate in the third quarter, you can see that the combined ratio is a little bit uh, higher compared to the combined ratio that we had uh, in the third quarter of uh, 2018. Uh, this is also a little bit of a normalization. Last year, the combined ratio was uh, 93%, which is, uh, let's say, a little bit better than our expectation. This year has been 943 which is a little bit uh, higher. When you look into the numbers, the, the, the results for the so-called accident year are very solid, and we see also an improvement in the cost ratio. And this year, what has been different compared to last year is a lower level of a release of prior year reserves. So we still have a release, but less compared to the prior year. So overall, I would say the results on the PNC side are also very good, just a little bit less compared to a very good quarter that we had uh, one year ago. Right. Let me then ask you about um, uh, the asset management, which, of course, we've just talked about, Julio, uh, did well. Is Allianz going to mostly stick to actively run strategies, given the challenges from passive investing? Yes, we are definitely sticking to the strategy uh, to be an active investor. Uh, for the time being, it's pay off. If you see in uh, totality our results on the, in the asset management business are uh, very good. We had this year in totality almost 60 billion of inflows. If you look at the fee margin, the fee margin is very, very stable. And also we can see increasing operating profit. You have also to consider that uh, in reality, the majority of our asset management is in uh, fixed income. And so not yeah. much exposed uh, to equity as maybe other SM managers. So from that point of view, we see a lot of resilience in our SM management operation. We we'll say we see more than resilience. We see e even increasing uh, profit, very stable margin, cost income ratio is uh, going down. So we are very, very uh, pleased with our strategy and also with the execution of our strategy. Uh, Julio, this week Allianz took a stake of about 4% in Beijing-based Taikang Life Insurance Company. And um, what we were reporting uh, at Bloomberg is that you purchased the investment from Goldman Sachs for about $1 billion. Is that how much you paid? So the, the exact number is a little bit lower. So I can tell you we paid about uh, 800 million euro. So it's not so far from uh, the $1 billion, just a little bit lower. And the, the idea is a uh, financial investment. Uh, uh, think about that uh, our general account portfolio is about 800 billion right now of euros. So it's not exactly 800 billion, but almost 800 billion. And 0 0.8 billion of, uh, of uh, euro investment is about uh, 10 basis point of our general account. So from that point of view, we, we are very well diversified. We are investing every every year about 120 billion of euro and clearly we look at different opportunity and we think that uh, these assets has a quality asset so that's uh, the, the, mm -hmm. the, the point number one and then also potentially we might have some uh, strategic opportunity in the future that we might find collaboration opportunity. So it's a financial investment within a very well diversified portfolio with the possibility in the future maybe to find some uh, strategic cooperation. Right, okay, that's clear, uh, Julio. Now, the China investment is the uh, fourth significant deal for Allianz this year after two earlier transactions uh, in the UK and one in Brazil. So tell me whether you're on the lookout for more deals, and if so, what kind of businesses are interesting for Allianz? 
in, in general, you know, the kind of businesses we are looking at are more like PNC businesses or protection business in the in the life in the life area. Uh, clearly, as interest rates are very low, the appetite for uh, investment in uh, pure saving it's uh, it's limited. So, from that point of view, uh, we stick to you know our philosophy to to look for investment potentially in PNC or uh, also in protection. The point is also clearly uh, uh, investing in areas where we can create synergies or also invest in areas where we can uh, establish a footprint and then grow that uh, footprint uh, over time.